Just like Michelangelo into the blue on heavenly wings. Cargo hand bones don't take off no smoke, no mirror, no strings. I can't take off these dark shades. I can only say how it's too beautiful. Our town, our town on TV, our town. You and me Upside down Hanging out of an airplane Hello, hello. This is what Amesbury is all about, folks. Amesbury's finest.
the executive director at the Ainsbury Chamber of Commerce. The car should be here any minute. Behind the fireball run of helping to locate missing children. We also have the Molly Bish Center, a wonderful organization started by the parents of a teenage girl who was abducted, who is here performing a child ID program through the Archway into the Amphitheater. So please take advantage of this free program and have your child ID booklet put together. And we'd like to thank our local restaurants for donating the VIP lunch, the Ale House and the Barking Dog, and uh, Cider Hill Farm, plus the Amesbury Sports Park, Flatbread Pizza Company, and good gracious goodies and more, Fat Cats, Restaurant Police, Maggie Sunday, and Cherry Bomb Restaurant and Ice Cream. All right, let's give it up for this one. Let's hear it. First driver is Greg Sidwell, his business partners and partners in several cars they own together, including a Ferrari 458, a Lamborghini Aventador, Chevy Nomad, and Devon GTX. The second driver is Jimmy Richardson. It's a 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. The missing child that they're driving for is Paul Rogers, last seen in Tampa, Florida. Buffalo, New York. Erica works GM at a local hotel and Jim is a tooling engineer. The red vehicle that's just pulled in.
give me an E. Give me a Z. And you've got Jay Sanchez. Let's hear it for Jay. They'll be traveling a total of eight days, a total of 2,500 miles, visiting 15 communities. And ladies and gentlemen, Amesbury is the only community in Massachusetts. So let's hear it again for Amesbury. You having fun anyways? Is this a great cause that we're involved in? Thank you all for coming here. Thank you for all the students, all the, the citizens of Aintree for coming out. Thank you all for wearing your red. And thank you to the cheerleaders and all the participants for making this a special day. We don't care about the weather. It's New England. It'll change in five minutes. We're just going to have a whole bunch of fun. So thank you. You got a half million dollar Lamborghini Aventador, you got a million dollar Devin back there, a couple of doctors out there driving an ambulance, and uh, and this guy in the green jacket, who hasn't changed the green jacket for like ever, uh, he's driving a Dodge pickup. <laughs> and he's traveling with his dad. Thousands and thousands of people have been tracking us from one side of America to the other while we aid in the recovery of America's missing children. Each team is representing a missing child from their hometown region and part of an active recovery effort. Now they're playing what is, they're not actually racing, they're playing the largest trivial pursuit board game on earth. The, cut, the America is the game board and they are but pawns on the game board. By successfully accomplishing missions and uh, trivia, that gets them to the next level of the game board. Thank goodness everybody made it. Today they had to find the Amesbury Hat Museum. And I think that's just awesome. It's just kind of a little kitschy place that we love. But look at this welcome. Is this not the Beverly Hills of Massachusetts or what? Unbelievable, unbelievable response despite the weather, in spite of the weather. Let me bring up a couple of VIPs. Where's Tim Bertina? Tim Bertina from AB, uh, what is it? CBS Survivor and ABC Home Makeover, world champion lumber Jill, Tim Bertina. Let's hear it! Stahl, who is an NHRA dragster driver, International artist Gartel, he is the longest standing Absolute campaign with Absolute Gartel and, one of, and was one of the brains behind the Apple Think Fake campaigns. His works are in the Smithsonian. If you ask him kindly, he'll sign your card. That makes the card worth a lot more. It is very rare to catch some of these people. Where is Kelly Kaminsky, our two-time world uh, women's pro rodeo champion? Kelly Kaminsky is out here driving a Dodge Ram. All kinds of fantastic people and fantastic folks out here. Wow. I, I think I think Amesbury needs to apply to be a full destination in 2016, huh? Jay, we already applied for that, so we would love for you guys to come back in 2016. Okay, well, Woo! Well, this, is, this is certainly a motivator, to say the least. You've also got what the one of the oldest electric cars out here. And one large later, and it moved about five buildings. Looky there. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn it back over to your own folks, your mayor, and I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This is fantastic. Mr. Ron Seggi. Can you come up here for a second? Mr. Ron Seggi is the Johnny Carson of Radio. Him, Johnny, and Ed were great friends. And you actually did the eulogy for, uh, for uh, Ed, didn't you? Yes, sir. This guy is yes. broadcasting out of Universal Studios, Florida for the past 22 years. You're also on Armed Forces Radio, so you're world broadcast. I gotta tell you something, Jay. This is phenomenal. Hey, you, hey, hey, didn't you, they tell you? Look at all everybody's dressed They're as red. red. In red. red. In red. It's here for red. We have a great team here at Amesbury. The Chamber of Commerce done a terrific job of organizing. Uh, Charlie Cullen here with the Provident Bank who sponsored this. Uh, a great community partner, and a kid, all the residents and the folks and the students as possible. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about where about, in case you don't know. This is the third year that I've been on the Fireball Run Adventure Rally. The first year we were in the Midwest, 
Last year we were in the southeast. This year we have the northern exposure. We started in Independence, Ohio, just a little bit south of the great city of Cleveland. And we're going to Bangor, Maine, where it is not, not too far up here. Now let me ask you, how far away are you from Lowell? 40 miles. 40 miles. Okay. Lowell, Massachusetts was a very favorite town of mine because my ex-partner and pal Ed McMahon was from Lowell, Massachusetts, which is right up the street. And so we kind of saluted Lowell as we passed by. But anyway, we are on this adventure rally, which by the way, you can follow us on fireballrun.com forward slash live. And we are going to be in Bangor tomorrow. We've been to well, it will be on eight days, 15 cities, 2,500 miles. And people say, is this like the Cannonball Run where it's a race? It is a race. It's a race for missing children. It's a race to find missing children. Now today, you're gonna to be handed by several of the 41 drivers here with the 41 teams, you're gonna be handed a flyer with a missing child on it, okay? Each team has a thousand flyers. Hence, there's 41,000 flyers representing 41 missing children. Now what we need you to do is help us. We're not asking you for any money. We're not, we, you've already given us your time and the ability to stand out in this rain and you'll probably have a cold tomorrow morning, okay? So you've already sacrificed. What we want you to do is take these flyers and do something that we've never been able to do in a long time with the social media. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Twitter. Put it on anything that you are doing on the social network. And let's turn those 41,000 flyers into 41 million flyers, all right? That's the way you can help us. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When I got involved with this a couple of years ago, they told me they had found 21 children. I said, hundreds of children are missing every day. What's 21 difference gonna make? I found out that one makes a difference. One, if we go through all this and find one child, it makes a difference. This time, we have already found one child. We're working on the second. And, listen to this. To date, we have found 39 missing children. 39. Look at the child that's standing next to you right now. Child, look at the parent or the guardian you're standing with right now. You'll want to stay with that person, always. This is a terrible tragedy because the person that is missing is somebody's loved one, okay? Is loved by someone, loves someone else. And let me tell you one thing right now, that child's missing could be the child that cures cancer, is one of the future presidents of the United States, or finds a formula for world peace. We don't want to lose any of these children. We need your help. So don't go home and forget about this. Don't go home and remember the fancy cars and the jerk with the red suit, okay? Go home, take these flyers, make them part of your social media, and let's save some children. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been terrific, okay? And I want to tell you right now that our job is to promote all of these great cities that we have visited. I do a nationally syndicated radio entertainment talk show that goes worldwide from NBC Universal Studios. And you can bet when I get back in that studio next week, I'm going to be talking about Amesbury. Because this is America, and you guys have proved it today. Thank you for all that you're doing for missing children. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you all the businessmen, all the students for getting out of school. This has been great. And I'll tell you what, since you've been so good, the mayor just told me you can have Monday off too. <laughs> and we all get to kick, take a car home with us. And Mr. Cullen, come on up for Provident Bank. A few words from you. Our platinum sponsor, let's hear it for Provident Bank and Charles Cullen. Well, thank you all. Get out of the way. Thanks, Amesbury, for coming out in this terrible weather, but the spirit is just terrific. And I wish uh, Amesbury High the best at the football game. Amesbury, go Amesbury. Go Indians. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Once again, Amesbury, let's hear some noise. Amesbury is America. Give it up for Amesbury. Think about these statistics for a minute. 2,500 miles traveled by these drivers. 40 teams traveling for eight days, visiting 15 communities, 
starting in Columbus, Ohio, ending in Bangor, Maine. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? In Massachusetts, they chose one community, Amesbury, Massachusetts. Amesbury is America. Let's hope they come back and visit us in 2016. Do you think they should? Yeah. All right. Give me an A. Yeah. Give me an M. Yeah. Give me an E. Yeah. Give me an S. Yeah. Give me a B. Yeah. Give me a U. Yeah. Give me an R. Yeah. Give me a Y. Yeah. What does it spell? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. I still can't hear you. And finally, let's remember the, the search for our lost children. As a result of the fireball run, imagine 39 lost children have been located, and who knows how many may be located as a result of this year's event. Mr. Damon, a few words. Well, you have uh, 40, 40 cars representing 40 missing children. We have the DeLorean from Back to the Future right down here in downtown Amesbury. Grab these posters, put them on Facebook, put them on Twitter. Let's look for these missing children. If we have 39 already found, wouldn't it be great if we picked up another 40 children this year? For the first mayor of Amesbury, Nicholas Costello. How about a few words from our very first mayor and former state senator, Nick Costello? Thank you all. Thank you all very much for being here today. This is very important. This is very good work. These kids have to be found, and this is a great way to get this promotion going. My son Michael wanted to be here. We was. Thank you very much, Nick. We appreciate that. And again, Rep Representative Michael Costello, we're sorry he's not able to be with you today, but certainly his father is great representation of the Costello family.
Angelo into the blue on heavenly wings. The cargo hand bone gon' take off no smoke, no mirror, no string. I can take off these dog shit. I can only say how it's too beautiful. Our town, our town on TV, our town. Upside down, hanging out of an airplane. 